Hey guys, I am going to show you how to make your own game walkthrough. Um, so I don't have very much time, but uh, we're going to start off with the hardware part, and then we'll move on to the software part, doing it up with the computer. So just give me one second, and we'll jump on over how to wire it up. Okay, so the best thing I got going right now is uh, to describe the setup for cables is um, paint here, as you can see. So this here is going to be our TV. So it's the back of our TV. This is going to be the DVD recorder. I don't want to spell out DVD recorder, so screw that. <laughs> this is going to be your Xbox over here. I need my craptacular rating. Xbox! Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so... Um, you'll see here you have dividers, right? Splitters, you can get them at Walmart. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Any kind of hardware store. Radio Shack, if you got it. A source, if you got it. Whatever. Just anywhere, really. Um... So you need split regular audio cable splitters. So it comes right out of the back of your Xbox and the regular cord it has. You put the splitters, the bottom Y section, into the splitters. And I don't really want to draw each of these cables going over because it's going to get confusing. So I'll show you with just one, the red one here. And uh, basically what you do out of one of them, you throw into the back of the DVD record. This is going to be our input. Eh, eh, there we go. So it'll say in on the back of the DVD record. That's going to be recording um, everything that goes, everything that comes from the Xbox is going to go there. Um, so do that with each of these here. Throw the white. I, I know I use gray because you can't really see it on white. Um, so put the white one in where the white goes. The yellow one, same thing. Just follow this one over the way it goes. Um, at the same time, the other section of the Y over here, make it go in the back of your television, TV, television, whatever. This is going to be like video one on this side. Let's give that a one. Every TV is different, so I don't know how yours works. So just say t channel one, TV one, whatever you use, video one. It's your first channel. Um, so throw one in there from each of those once again. So that will give you direct feed from the Xbox, but you can't see what's going on with your DVD recorder. You can't change settings. You can't do anything until you have this cable here. This is your out on this side here. Oh, you, T. If I can spell out correctly, here you go. Okay, on this side it'll say out. Throw from the yellow, red, and white, respectively, into channel 2 on your television. This will help you a lot because um, with my first DVD recorder, it, it had like a 10 second delay. It would record everything, but you could flick stuff on your, you know, on your controller, and it wouldn't happen until about 10 seconds later if you threw it right from the Xbox into the DVD recorder. So this step here will definitely help you out. Um, so just toggle between channels 1 and 2, and that should help you... Um, be able to record a little better, like change the channel one because that's directly feeding from the Xbox. You play on that channel, but whenever you want to record, like hit the record button, switch over to video two or whatever, and hit. You'll see everything that goes on here: settings, um, brightness settings, all that stuff that comes out of the DVD recorder will go onto channel two. So that's where you make all your selections, put it back on the channel one uh, to play the game. When you're done, once again, go back to channel two and uh, hit stop. You'll see in a minute what I do. Um, hit stop and finalize the disc. Then switch back over to one to keep playing your game. I uh, hope this is good enough of a schematic. Um, anyway, uh, moving on to the next phase, which will be uh, recording your video. So let's give me two seconds here. Okay, so now that I've taken, now that I've made the recording on the on the DVD recorder, I uh, simply hit stop. And the key phrase here you're looking for is finalize. Once you finalize it. Uh, take it out of the DVD recorder, put it inside your computer. Uh, next step is to open up NeuroVision. Go to make a movie. Then I get these videos in here. I've uh, pre-done so to help save time here. Go to Explore, Video. I just grab this here. Uh, hold on, get this out of the way. Grab your video. You want it to VTS uh, 01 or 02, all depending on how your DVD recorder works. Just grab the file that you made and throw it in there. Once you drop it in there, all these videos should show up. I'm just going to grab this random one right here, throw it there. And uh, it's only 1 minute 40 seconds long. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and save time here. And let's just say, like, the first couple minute you don't need. All you need to do is simply grab that, shorten it down. Same thing with the end here. Let's just say the last couple seconds you don't need. Shorten it down. 
Done. So, now you got your video from the video game. Okay, enough of that. Now grab your audio, which you've pre-recorded using Audacity. You can get Audacity through Google. So just go to Firefox or whatever you use. I use Firefox because I like it. And go to Google and to go Audacity. That's the first option you see. Download it. You should be all set. So now, once you have that done, I should have gone through this beforehand. <laughs> While you're making your video, uh, you should go and get this started up. Just hit, simply hit record. It'll record your voice. When you're done with it, stop, file, export as wave. Once that's done, save it to your desktop or whatever. Grab it and do the same thing you do with any file here. And just grab it and just drag it in here. But I, I've taken a song just to make things simple here. Um, it's uh, Pet by... Uh, a perfect circle. Every, <laughs> half the people out there screaming their heads off, going, oh my god! <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just say that's your audio clip. Shrink it down. Shrink it down. Find out where you need it to be for how long. Let's just say that's perfect. Sync it up. Uh, let's just say that now that it will match up with the game, your audio, uh, you can mess with the volume here. Turn that down way down because it's going to be loud as hell, trust me. You can change that one. You can change this one. So if you go to properties, I'm right clicking by the way. Same deal. So once that's taken care of, let's see if we got a good volume here. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Let's just say it's all perfect. This is your like full session, like it's an hour or two session long. Go to next. Export movie. Uh, we want to put this on to the desktop. Let's just call this one. Let's call it Pet. Why the hell not? Make sure to set the AVI NTSC 4 to 3 ratio. No compression, no compression. Export. By the way, this is this game that I'm playing here is called um, "They Came from Underground" or "They Came from the Ground," something like that. You can you can download off Xbox. It's it's a pretty fun game. It's very addictive, as you can see. I think I lose this this match. <laughs> Yep, green wins. Yeah, he won. <laughs> so this is basically the, the DVD recording I took uh, by using the schematic I, I, I showed you guys earlier. Uh, just simply follow those instructions, hit record. Uh, make sure it's on EP. I'm not sure that means it's not SP. Just make sure the recording settings are all correct. Okay, so that's done. Hit X. Uh, no. I don't want to. You guys can. It all depends. Uh, so now once that's done, where did it go? Pet. Here we go. Here's our file. Go to Windows Movie Maker. This is what I use because it puts in the perfect format and the perfect sh perfect everything for uh, YouTube to be uploaded. So grab your video. Drag it in there. Now let's just say this is like your one hour session right here. Let's just say that. Uh, what you would do now is you would shorten this down to, let's just say, a 10 minute segment because YouTube will only allow 10 minutes of video to be uploaded per, at a time. There's a bit of leeway by like a couple seconds, but don't push it. So let's just say that is our 10 minute segment, let's just say. Okay, great. To play just to test it out. Okay, great. So now I hit File, Save Movie File. Next, and just call it um, session part one, and you hit next and save. And once that's done, grab the file on YouTube, upload it. Do you want to save? No. 
once it's done save it to your desktop or whatever um, then upload it via YouTube and you should be all set so that's uh, how I make videos and how, how I upload them um, it's very very straightforward on YouTube. Just go to YouTube, upload video, it should all be there. You need an account to do that, of course. Um, if you guys have any further questions, please let me know, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for joining me, and uh, there will be more videos very soon. Thank you very much.